All right, so in the previous video, we did the left endpoint two different ways. We did it just adding up the, the rectangles by hand, you know, computing their, each one of their areas and adding them all up. And then we did it by using the summation formulas, which is very lengthy, but um, could come in handy with when we're dealing with larger, uh, larger value problems or a, a lot of rectangles. So we figured out our left endpoint approximation. Our left endpoint approximation was 24. That means the area of all four of those rectangles added up to be 24. And our left endpoint approximation is less than the actual area because we had those gaps of area when approximated from the left endpoint. Because the slope was increasing, all of our rectangles were under the curve. So if we do a right endpoint approximation, that means our, our right endpoint approximation should actually be greater than the actual area. It should be larger than the actual area. And let's see what that's going to look like. Well, a right endpoint approximation, a right endpoint approximation, now we're not evaluating f of 2. Our width is still the same. Our delta x is still 1 half. So each one of our rectangles, We'll go ahead and draw that first. Each one of our rectangles we have four rectangles. All of them has a width of one half. All of them has a width of one half. A right endpoint approximation is going to start on the right side. It's going to start on the right side. Or at least this is the way I like to draw it out. So we're going to start here, f of 4, it's going to go out 1 half, and it's going to land down on f of 3.5. Well, the next one's going to start at f of 3.5, go out 1 half, down to 3. The next one, f of 3, out to uh, 2.5, and down. And the next one, f of 2.5, out one half, and down to 2. And we can see how this is already going to be greater than the actual area of the curve, because the entire area of the curve is covered. I'll go ahead and draw this straight. Oh, this is the one that always gets me. Um, we can see the entire area under our curve, as x goes from 2 to 4, is all covered and a little bit more above the curve. So it's, this approximation is going to be larger than the actual area. So how do we calculate each one of these areas? The same as we did before. Each one of these bases is one half. Bases, base, I don't know if that's a word. One half, one half, one half. Well, what's our, our heights? Well, we're not using the, the lower value. We're not starting here at the lower values now. So for example here, we're not starting at f of two. f of two is down here. This is something else. Well, let's see what happens when we start at the at this right side. Well, here, the height here is f of 4. It's ending right on the curve of the graph. So that is, that is f of 4. What's the height here of this rectangle? rectangle? f of 3.5. This is f of 3.5. Here, well, that's f of 3. And here is f of 2.5. And that's it. That's four rectangles. So I'm not doing the, the long, tedious way I did in the last video. This one, let's just do it how I did the, the first left endpoint. Let's just add up the sums of these rectangles or add up each one of these terms individually. So what do we have? We have f of 2.5, right? That's this height here, this height here, f of 2.5 times 1 half, that's our first rectangle going from left to right, plus f of 3.0, or just 3, times 1 half, plus f of 
3.5 times 1 half plus f of 4 times 1 half. Now, we do this the same way we did before. Like I said, you could just plug, oh, I didn't write down our function. So this is our function. So we just plug each one of these values in for x and then multiply it by one half. And if you're not, if you didn't really get that from the last video, uh, let's see what that would look like. So starting with this one, f of 2.5, what's f of 2.5? So we have 2 times 2.5 squared minus 2.5 minus 1, all multiplied by 1 half. That's ugly. 1 half plus what's f of 3? Well, that's 2 times 3 squared minus 3 minus 1 times 1 half. Plus f of 3.5, that's 2 times 3.5, whoops, forgot my bracket there, squared minus 3.5 minus 1 times 1 half plus f of 4 is 2 times 4 squared minus 4 minus 1 times 1 half. And I'm just going to use my calculator for this. So I figured them all out. We have nine halves for this first term. All this, nine halves. All this is 14 halves. Fourteen halves plus all this equals 20 halves plus all this equals 27 halves. All right, well, this is 10, this is 7, so we have 9 halves plus 17 plus 27 halves, 27 halves plus 9 halves is 36, 36 halves, which is 18, so that's 18 plus 17 equals 35, right? Okay, right. And that is our larger approximation, our right endpoint approximation. So up here at the top, we have 35.